Ah, uh, that Brian May bloke. Was he a doctor now? I wouldn't want to go and see him about. Well, never, never mind that. He played for the Sixpence. Does he know what he's on about? Is he right? Is he wrong? Well, let's put it this way. He's made a few quid, so he, he might be on something. But is it for you or is it for me? 15th of February, 1971. Along comes decimalisation. And what does decimal mean? Wrong. Everything goes in tens. If you like, ten times table, ten tens of uh, uh, 99, if you're dealing with me. I'll keep that extra. Anyway, six silver coins before the Frickly bit went to hexagonal brass. But that's by the by. First up, we have a crown. This being a rocking horse crown from 1935. Now this is a bit hefty. I think if those uh, in the colonies will think of a Morgan dollar, that's about the same size. So let's give it a bash. <laughs> Quite weighty. I should think this even dulls the tone. So when you have a crown, what's next? Downwards. It's half a one. So this is half the weight and half the worth of a crown. This two and a half bob. This one. Is it two and a half bob? Yeah. No, it's not, is it? Well, work it out for yourselves and put it down. If you're right or wrong, you might win a prize. You won't, but you, you, you never know. I've got florin. It's two shillings. How many pennies in a shilling? That's right, twelve. Too big still. One shilling. This time from uh, 1929. Have there were any viewers born that year? Probably not. If they were, they're probably tied to a chair. Not knowing what's going on. between the, uh, the crown and the shilling. Now, before we get to the sixpence, go for a threepence. Throp, because it means throp. From the old English called three. It's not really, but you never know. So three pence. And this is a little tiny coin. Well, I'll put these up for the crown. There you go. This is probably going to be too small. Yeah, 
just get in your way. So, being sixpence being twice the weight of the threepence, they're not actually twice as wide. But wide enough so you can actually get hold of one of these. Sixpence that is. some merit. Is it as cracked up as it's supposed to be? Will he sound any different playing with a pick? I doubt it. Unless you're in this, you have the best hi-fi equipment in the world. I doubt very much you could hear the difference. But that's what he likes. I know using one of these is better than using one of them. And one of them is better than one of them. He might be on something. I think it's a bit of a twist in myself. Now what is next? Ah. Drink beer. <laughs> 